Mine it says good morning, but I kind of can't hear. I said, hi there, buddy. Yeah, he's so sweet. He's a sweet boy. Um, this morning, we were gonna make breakfast burritos. I'm eating some bell peppers. Doing something a little bit different. I have bell peppers, I'm gonna cut up an onion. I'm gonna grate up some cheddar cheese. Get some water glass eggs scrambled up and probably add some chipotle and chopped green chilies and then we're gonna make burritos. I'm using store-bought tortillas because honestly it takes a long time to make tortillas. I don't feel like it today. In the future I will show you how to do that but not today. It's Friday. We've got to clean up for Sabbath and all that stuff so Friday is always a super busy day. Anyway I'm gonna cook all this stuff together, cook the eggs separate, fold it all together into a filling with some of our homemade salsa and then I'll show you filling up the burritos. Today's gonna be a short and sweet one but these are a huge hit in my house. You can eat them any time of day. They normally eat them breakfast or we have breakfast for dinner sometimes too. So anyway, I cooked up some chorizo and I'm using some canned nacho sauce. I'm sorry, I'll have to revoke my crunchy card for the day, but I have it, I'm gonna use it. I had to cut quite a bit of this video because my little man likes to visit with me, but he also likes to be in his diaper. So here I just have my veggie blend. There's chipotle, chopped green chilies, onions, bell peppers. It's been in the hot pan. I put them in the pan that I cooked the chorizo in. And now I'm adding back most of the chorizo, but not all. There was actually quite a bit. I think I ended up cooking about six pounds. So the rest will go into a Ziploc into the freezer for another use. And then I just cook this all together till it's nice and hot and yummy. And then once that's done, to save myself grief and time and cleaning, I will scoop all this out into a separate container and then I will get the eggs in here. And once that's done, we'll mix it all together. We'll add our cheese sauce and then we're gonna assemble this. This could be so delicious. So when I put my eggs in here, I'm, I didn't clean out the pan. <clears throat> Excuse me, my order of things when I'm cooking for burritos is I do meat. They pull them out, put in vegetables, then mix the vegetables and meat together when the veggies are done. And then I pull that out and set it aside. And then I keep all of this beautiful stuff in the pan. The pan's already going to be messy and a pain to clean out anyway. So I figure why not leave all these beautiful bits and pieces of turmoil goodness in here. Now, ah, let's see if I can do this. I'm stretching. I'm stretching. Now I'm going to add, I think it's about 20 water glass eggs. And then we're going to pick this up. And then I will mix in my meat and veggies and the cheese and we'll have our filling. Okay, so the next step is you gotta warm up the tortillas because if you don't, they're hard to roll. And if you've ever tried to roll a burrito with tortillas that are cold, it just doesn't work well. Things tend to crack. Every time I season my cast iron skillets, I take uh, my, my oiling cloth and I run it along all of these grates because guess what? These are cast iron too. And I want to season them so that I can do things like this without trouble. So I just wiped them down really well and put a fresh coat of olive oil on them. They may look used and it's because, well, quite frankly, they are. We cook a lot in this house. So this is what I do. I just go ahead and soften them. I'm going to make a big stack and then we'll have our assembly line and get them rolled up. So it is super hard to capture everything that's going on in this video, but we'll do the best we can. It's very, very simple. I'm sure many of you have made burritos before, so all I'm doing is putting some cheese. Got my assembly line going on. And then you fold your edges in. Fold this part over. Pull it towards yourself. And roll it up nice and pretty. So this, whatever's left over, will be put in the freezer. We'll see how many are left because these are quite popular in our house. There we go. That's a little bit better. Quite popular in our house. But they make a great quick and easy meal. What I like to do is when I get up in the morning, I'll grab them. I try to remember to put them into the fridge the night before. I grab them, put them in a cast iron skillet that I've sprayed a little bit of olive oil cooking spray in. And then I coat them a little bit more with, excuse me, cooking spray. And I put them in like a 350 to 400 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. We like them nice and crispy and brown. So I have this confession to make. Like one of my favorite foods in the world is those, those greasy, crispy, oops, gas station burritos. You know the ones, right? I love those things. I know they're horrible for you. And I don't really eat them hardly ever anymore. 
because I don't go on many road trips, but that crispy aspect is something that you can capture by reheating these in an oven. Of course, you can do it in a microwave or whatever. We don't own a microwave. By choice. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, heating them up in the oven is simple. I mean, we warm up our ovens to bake every day anyway, so before we start our baking, I can get these in and get everybody fed. So this is all you do. You just truck along, rolling up those burritos. They are delicious, nutritious, and oh, here we go. There we go. Fast and easy to make. So I'm just going to keep doing these. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.